while in the town of Rivervale, Archie Andrews has somehow just come back from the dead. Arch. Sorry I woke you, Betty. No, it's okay. I was having a nightmare. What was it about? The whole town was sacrificing you. Sorry I woke you, Pangs. Uh, hey, you okay, bro? You look like you're about to pass out. Just fight at it. What's going on? Not much, just updating everyone on the wedding plans. Wedding? Who's getting married? Awkward. <laughs> Jug, Betty and I are getting married this weekend, and you're my best man. Impeccable timing, as always. Yes, Dr. Curdle. Miss Cooper. Betty and Archie next. I wanted to ask them about one page in particular. Do you remember that explosion, Archie? Huh? Not at all. That event is the one that ended the Riverdale comics. The next issue is when Rivervale started. I have a theory that that explosion is what created this parallel universe we currently find ourselves in. Wait, I kind of remember something about this. Or Arch, didn't you have a dream about an explosion like this one? Or am I making that up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, that was just a, a dream, Chuck. I went to Veronica and Reggie next. I want to thank everyone for being here on this very special occasion. It's not every night that a mom gets to host the rehearsal dinner for her daughter's wedding to the finest young gentleman in this town, Archie Andrews. Now, I think my husband, Hal, would like to say a few words. Just a few, though. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Alice. Uh, no, I remember when Betty was born, she... Could resume their lives. <laughs> there you guys are. We were just about to send a search party. Seriously, what were you guys doing up there? Um, I actually don't remember. <laughs> don't mind him. He always turns into a space cadet when he's working on a new novel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, seriously, what were we? What were we doing? Oh, come on, Betty. Your spaghetti's gonna get cold. Hey, thank you. Yeah. After dinner, Chug... He had a song he'd always sing. Hear that? It's my phone. Hello. Get out of that house, Betty. Who is this? Listen to me. There's a bomb under the bed. You have to go now. Right now. We have to go. Now. <laughs> 